Each Fast SC connector includes the following components. The Fast SC connector assembly with wedge clip installed. A 250 micron protective tube. A clear protective tube. A 3 millimeter boot. A 2 millimeter boot. And a 900 micron boot. Warning. Always wear eye protection when handling optical fibers. Dispose of any cut or cleaved ends properly. Two or three millimeter cable termination. Measure 10 inches from the end of the cable and place the cable into the appropriate cable clamp. Slide the cable clamp to tighten the cable down. Slide the appropriate boot onto the cable. Refer to the strip template and mark the cable at 70 millimeters from the end. Strip 70 millimeters of jacket from the cable. Refer to the strip template and mark the 900 micron fiber at 40 millimeters from the end of the fiber. Strip 40 millimeters of 900 micron coating from the fiber. Check the fiber integrity by bending the stripped end slightly at 60 degrees. Clean the bare fiber using a lint-free wipe moistened with fiber preparation fluid or 95% purity or better isopropyl alcohol. Insert the bare fiber into the CT38 cleaver and cleave to a length of 10.5 millimeters plus or minus 0.5 millimeters. Set the connector into the assembly tool. The wedge clip is engaged at shipment. If the wedge becomes dislodged, squeeze the top and bottom of the wedge clip, ensuring the wedge is inserted into the connector body. A click will be heard. Place the cable onto the assembly tool cable grip. Option A. Termination without the use of a visual fault identifier. Insert the fiber slowly into the rear of the connector until a connection is made. Make a bend in the fiber to maintain connection. Squeeze both sides of the wedge clip to release the wedge. Remove the cable from the assembly tool cable grip. Slide the boot up the cable toward the connector and pass the assembly tool cable grip. Straighten out the cable and return it to the cable grip. Divide the Kevlar strands into two equal bundles. Place the Kevlar bundles into the assembly tool Kevlar grips on each side of the connector. Tug the Kevlar lightly to ensure it's pulled taut and the 900 micron buffered fiber is not bent. Screw the boot onto the back of the connector to fix the Kevlar. Remove the connector from the assembly tool. Remove the wedge clip unit from the connector. Trim the excess Kevlar strands using Kevlar scissors. Release and remove the cable clamp. Termination is complete. Option B. Termination using a visual fault identifier. Remove the dust cap from the fast connector and insert the connector into the VFI. Turn on the VFI. There will be a red glow in position 1 of the wedge clip. Insert the cleaved fiber into the rear of the connector until the red glow dims. Make a bend in the fiber to maintain connection. Squeeze both sides of the wedge clip to release the wedge. Remove the VFI from the connector. Place the dust cap back onto the connector. Remove the cable from the assembly tool cable grip. Slide the boot up the cable toward the connector and pass the assembly tool cable grip. Straighten out the cable and return it to the cable grip. Divide the Kevlar strands into two equal bundles. Place the Kevlar bundles into the assembly tool Kevlar grips on each side of the connector. Tug the Kevlar lightly to ensure it's pulled taut 
and the 900 micron buffered fiber is not bent. Screw the boot onto the back of the connector to fix the Kevlar. Remove the connector from the assembly tool. Remove the wedge clip unit from the connector. Trim the excess Kevlar strands using Kevlar scissors. Release and remove the cable clamp. Termination is complete.